Today, Kevin and I are gonna be trying Guy Fieri's Flavor Town sauces. We have the famous donkey sauce, the honey mustard sauce, secret sauce, chipotle sauce, and jalapeno sauce. These were $3.98 at Walmart. He also has a line of barbecue sauces, which we will be trying as well, but I wanted to try these first. So, uh, I do the, have a little seal. And I can okay, well, I will take care of this one. Wow. We're doing, uh, we're gonna try the donkey sauce first because we, we, well, we've never had any of his sauces. Does he have a restaurant? I think so. I don't uh, yes, know. he has a chicken restaurant, remember? That's right, he has. It's, they, we've it's seen in it Disney somewhere. Springs. Yeah, we've seen it. They have it in Disney Springs. We it's didn't go to it, but we've seen chicken it. Chicken Guy. Somewhere. That's what yeah, it's yeah, called. Yeah. It's called Chicken Guy. And yes, we've seen it at Disney Springs, uh, which used to be called Downtown Disney, in Florida at Walt Disney World. Yeah, so, so we have seen that, so, but we've never been there. Yeah. Okay. I mean, he might have other restaurants too. That's the only one I know of. Yeah. Okay, so wow. famous donkey sauce. It says, why is it called donkey sauce? There we go. Because if you don't dig this creamy, garlicky, flavor bombed aioli, you're a jackass. <laughs> Okay. 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 Um, it says shake well. I no, didn't shake any of them. Didn't shake any of them. Didn't know. We'll give a little shake and shimmy right now. Yeah. Do we, should we sing our shaking songs? No, we don't. Sing I have a list of shaking songs. People like the shaking songs. Okay. It says shake well, refrigerate after opening. Yeah. So have any of these been refrigerated? No, because we haven't opened them yet. They were on the shelf. They were on the shelf. Yeah, this is how you get them. Okay, it says they are manufactured by Lighthouse, uh, which Lighthouse, L-I-T-E-H-O-U-S-E. Lighthouse makes... Do they make dressing? Yes, salad they do. Dressings? They make yeah, salad dressings. Yeah, they sure do. Um, 13 servings in the container, two tablespoons is 140 calories. This is the highest calorie out of the five. This is the highest calorie. 140 calories. That's probably about the same as mayonnaise. For two tablespoons. That's why I buy light mayonnaise. If you mix it in with stuff, if you mix you it don't in, know. It's fine. And I mix it in with stuff. I don't so. complain. I don't complain if it's mixed in. Yeah, I always. I just I, don't want it, um, you know, on a peanut butter sandwich. I always mix it in, and you 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 can't. And who puts mayonnaise on a peanut butter sandwich anyway? It's disgusting, Kevin. Um, I do like how easy that was to <laughs> squeeze and get out of there. Really really easy to do now i don't know how easy it'll be once you refrigerate it because it's gonna it it's gonna get thicker okay we're just eating it with chicken chicken yes well chicken guy you know he yeah. puts it on chicken <laughs> like i said i don't know if these i don't never been to the restaurant so i don't know where these sauces i don't know if he has them in that chicken restaurant or well, i don't know that's good mm -hmm. it's more it does have more it's an aioli so it has more of that kind of mayonnaise -y kind of flavor uh -huh. um it's got some garlic, but it's not like, it's not ruined with garlic. Let's put it that way. It, it's, it has distilled vinegar. Yeah, like a little, little It has little a touch salt, of sugar, dried garlic, ground mustard. Um, yeah, it has, good. contains egg, anchovy. I think it's anchovy. nice. It's, uh, uh, it's very creamy. It's very, very creamy, yeah. Mm -hmm. It's almost, it's almost as thin as the salad dressing, almost. It's just thick enough. You to could totally put that on. You could if you wanted to. Um, oh yeah, that defeats the purpose. It's of just thick. Salad. It's just thick enough to spread on a piece of bread and not let it run off and drip everywhere. Yes, and it says uh, burgers, fries, like dip your French oh, fries yeah, in there. That would be good. Sandwiches. It says Sammy's sandwiches. It says sandwiches. <laughs> <laughs> so well, get it right, Tammy. It says sandwiches. Um, isn't that what that guy, or guy, that Arby's guy used to say? Two five roast beef sandwiches for five dollars or something so. like that. <laughs> well, that's good. Nice, creamy, nice. nothing offensive. There's nothing too overpowering about that flavor at all. Okay, so I'm just gotta get it from the right side. Definitely mustardy. Okay, this is called this is honey mustard sauce, and it says real deal honey mustard sauce has all that tangy mustard and sweet honey creaminess you're gonna wanna dip. Spreadable and dr drizzle. Uh, put it on pretzel bites, ham sandwich, sam sandwiches. 
Is that that word? Sandwiches? Sandwiches. I've just never seen that written. And hot dogs. Um, 12 servings, 2 tablespoons is 110 calories. That's my kind of honey mustard. Kevin loves honey mustard. I love a good honey mustard. I tell you what though, that's got a little more kick though to the mustard. It's almost got that yellow table mustard kick. Like the vinegar. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it, and it's uh, not really super sweet. No, but it it uh, they're using like uh, Dijon mustard. Yeah, I can see that. Yeah. Sugar, yellow. There's yellow uh, mm -hmm. honey, honey yellow mustard. Um, it's very nice, very nice flavor. Dried garlic, dried onion. Uh, you do get all that, but uh, I think the. Um, the vinegar stands out to me. Yeah, that little that little kick you get mm -hmm. at the, at, while you're eating it. It's but really I do nice. like that. And that is yeah. nice because a lot of times honey mustard, uh, when I have it at a restaurant to dip, it um, it's too strong. It's just it's it's, it's, it's all it's like mustard. Yeah, <laughs> it's so and I love mustard yeah. dearly, but it's so strong that it's like it's overpowering mm -hmm. the flavor of usually I'm dipping chicken. Uh, this goes along nicely with chicken. Yeah, I mean, it, most of the time you wouldn't want full-on strength mustard when you're dipping it or eating it on a salad yeah, or something like that. Yeah, so this seemed to go, nice. it accompanied it well without covering up all yeah. the flavor of the chicken. Yeah. Because normally that's my issue with honey mustard. I just recently at a restaurant yeah. had a bite of honey mustard. I had one bite and it's like, I don't want any more. I'd just rather eat the chicken yeah. plain because I don't want that. It was an overwhelming it was. Uh, flavor. It was a honey mustard dressing, but... Yeah. Yes, but yes, this is much better. Yeah, I, I like the creaminess of it. I like it too, and it really does, um, it, it's a touch sweet, but not sweet, sweet. Like syrupy sweet. Okay. This? Now we're getting into the peppers. Okay, good. No, no, secret sauce. No, top secret sauce. Yeah. Uh, it says top secret sauce is so good. The recipe is locked up in a vault at Fort Flavortown. <laughs> A creamy aioli with dynamite sparks of chili powder, which I love, subtle mustard, and garlic that's good on everything. Put it on burgers, fries, grilled veggies, 12 servings per container, 2 tablespoons is 110 calories. Okay. That's nice. I like the flavor of that. It does have a little bit of a smokiness to it, though. That tastes just like something else. Like it's another... It's like a barbecue potato chip to me. Yeah, there's another sauce that that tastes identical to. It is. There, there, I don't know what it is, but there is another sauce we've had that tastes just I like I mean, that. identical. Um, and we've had a lot of sauces, so it's hard to say. That's really nice. I don't really get chili powder, mm -mm. but I get like smokiness and uh, kind of mayonnaise kind of flavor. Yeah. A little yeah. bit of seasonings, but not chili pepper. No, I don't get chili, chili powder. Chili powder, that's what I meant. I don't get chili powder either. Mm -mm. Um, I do chili love powder. this. Uh, for me, this is my favorite one so far. Um, um, not quite. But it's not it's your favorite good. so far? It's really good. This is my favorite so far. I, I love this. I think it's delicious. Like, it's got a smokiness that I really do like. Yes. It, it does have a barbecue-esque. Yeah. It has that, like, it's in the same family. Yeah, that's why I kind of said it reminds me of a barbecue potato. Yeah, yeah it's, it's not like, it's not full on barbecue sauce mm -hmm. because it's, it's, it's creamier and it's not spicy at all. Right. So if you, you're in the store, you're reading that, you're thinking, oh, chili powder. Mm -hmm. It's not spicy at all. Don't let that keep you from no. buying this one. No, that would be good on a hamburger. Yeah, it would. It really would. There's no spiciness whatsoever. But I now, think, though. What I think is interesting, though, is these are all kind of runny. A bit, I think they'll farm up they'll in They'll probably thicken up in the refrigerator. I, I, hope really, so, I really think they will. Um, them being this runny would be hard to get on a sandwich for the most part. You would, you would just have to do a very thin layer. And you saw we did shake them up, so I, don't I know. think once you once it gets cold, yeah, it'd be it's, better. it's gonna yeah. I think these are gonna firm up a little bit. Um, this is poppin' jalapeno. It says poppin' jalapeno sauce fires up the flavor jets fast with a combination of spicy jalapenos, creamy aioli, and a garlicky punch. 
This one is the lowest calorie one here. This is, and it still isn't low calorie. Uh, 12 servings, two tablespoons is 90 calories. You know what? I just know in my mind that anytime I add a condiment to something, it's going to have a lot of calories unless it's like plain mustard or something or light. Uh, yeah, it's going to have calories. So you just have to know that you just have to either enjoy it or don't. This is a thicker texture than the other ones have been. Mm -hmm. it's, it's a little, when you were squirting it out, I noticed it too, but oh when you're scooping gosh. it, you can really, you like that pepper flavor? I love that. That's nice. That <laughs> tastes like, um, oh my gosh, those, um, like a stuffed jalapeno. Yeah, I can see that. It's not as green pepper flavor as some of those things are, but it, you definitely get the jalapeno flavor, but it's not at that. You know, sometimes we'll say it really tastes green. Mm -hmm. This is not really green. It's, no, but you know. But you know it's jalapenos. No, and I do get some of the green. A little bit. Yeah, but they didn't overdo it. It's and, almost like a, like when you have a, a deep fried banana pepper. And I yeah. know it's not a banana pepper, it's a jalapeno. But it still has that pepper flavor to mm -hmm. it. Um, I think it's yeah. creamy, delicious. I don't get any heat really. No. That's you know? what I was thinking. I was thinking, oh, I thought this would be hot. Mm-mm. It's not hot. And Kevin's, I am, I can eat jalapenos. Kevin's usually really sensitive Yeah, they to usually burn me up. And, this and one, no. No, I don't get any Not heat. at all. I it mean, if there's any heat, if flavor. there's any heat at all, it's a very minuscule amount. So I, I love that. That's I was delicious. expecting it to be hot, but it's not. Mm -mm. Okay, now this one is the Kickin' Chipotle sauce. I'm expecting this to be smoky pepper flavor. No, this is runny, is runny, yeah, it is runny. I think it would take a lot for that to firm up, if it ever did. Uh, Kicking Chipotle brings the heat with a combination of smoky Chipotle, a side kick of chili, and a roundhouse of spices that builds mouth-watering heat bite after bite. So it's telling you this one's supposed to be it hot. It's a little hotter. Put it on tacos, fried chicken, quesadillas, and shrimp. So this one, uh, vegetable oil is the first ingredient. Which makes sense. Well, Chipotle right. pepper, that one's chili definitely powder, hot, hotter. paprika. Okay, let, let me go for it. Paprika usually, um, if you put enough paprika in some, it really, you can tell. There is a smokiness there, but I want to see if you, there's something else in there that I can't identify. Yes. You too? Yeah. I don't know what it is. It's a spice or some flavoring in there that I, I cannot identify. It's, I get the peppery kind of smoky pepper, but um, I don't know what it is. I like it. I really do like it. It's hot though. It is a little hot. I don't know what it is. It um, It's, it's kind of odd. I mean, I like it, but it's odd in the way that uh, um, it's sweet. Yeah, it's, it is kind of sweet. It's really sweet. And like when I put it on that chicken and put it in my mouth, it's sweet. Mm -hmm. But then it changes. It, it's like one of the little dolls that you put in water and their hair changes color. And that's what this is for me. It's, yeah, I put it in my mouth and it's sweet. But then as I'm chewing it, it gets hot. Yeah. And so it, it literally changes flavors while it's in your mouth. Um, and it, it, there is some intensity to it, but it, it's not flaming hot. No, it's not ridiculously hot. But, but there is a, a, it's a pleasant heat all over your mouth yeah. from it. If you don't like spice, of course, don't get that one, but I think you're safe to get any of the rest. Yeah, of it. this is the only one that, uh, that had the heat. Yeah. Really. These other ones do not. But there is a, in, in this Chipotle one, there is a smokiness there, but there's some like something. There's a spice or a flavor in there somewhere that's a little weird, and I don't know what it is. I, I have no idea. I can't. I got that too. I don't know if it's maybe the vinegar or. I got that bit of flavor too. I was trying to figure out what it was, but then it didn't. It it changed so much that it didn't matter to me after that. I don't know that. what it is. It, it's still. It's not a lingering flavor. You just taste it a little bit right, right. at first. Oh, I looked in the ingredients. It's odd. I don't know. Okay, anyway. so which is your very, very favorite? Probably the donkey is my favorite. Donkey. Donkey. Um, okay. I like I like that sauce because I like that. I love mayonnaise anyway. Mm -hmm. And it kind of reminds you of mayonnaise with garlic. Mm -hmm. So it's really good. My number two would probably be the jalapeno one. 
Jalapeno is good stuff. I'm telling you. And if you um, if you no, think I'm take it back, I think the honey. If you think I'm a weenie, I can't have anything jalapeno. It's just something that I I I would think I would like it, but I can't have it. You could have this. Try a little bit of it. You least. need to try it because uh, it it really is not hot at all. Yeah, I mean it didn't hit me, and it if jalapenos were really hot to me. So, so. you said donkey and, and jalapeno. I think, I think honey mustard would be on number two, and then the jalapeno because I really oh, like honey. Okay. Mustard. Yeah. Okay, I'm different. I'm gonna say uh, my number one. Hmm. I really like. For all the time, I'm gonna say the top secret sauce. It was really good. And then I'm gonna say jalapeno number two, but it's really close to number one because I do love it. And then number three, I'm gonna say a donkey. Yeah, they're all good. Though. Yeah, but the only one I didn't I like, like the only one I really didn't like was the chipotle. And I, I like the chipotle too. And I do think he's right. It would be uh, really good on a taco or something yeah. like that. It has that kind of flavor. Yeah, mm -hmm. it just yeah. has that one weird flavor for me that it, you know maybe it's just me too, but it's I don't know just. Kind yeah, of I think it would be nice too on a taco or a quesadilla or something like that because um, it it's it's a little you know we're used or to nachos. using yeah we're used to using like taco sauce that's really thin right whereas this is thicker and it's gonna like stick to your toppings more yeah. as you're eating it and I think that would be really that'd be good. nice just a pan of taco I mean a nachos and just squirting it over the whole thing and just getting that on your plate that'd yeah well nice. think about how I made baked tacos last yeah. time yeah, yeah that's true. and It'd that would nice. work really yeah. well on baked tacos so I think. All of these are worth a try. I yep. really do. I, I think they're nice. Uh, so, yeah, look for them at Walmart. Yeah, I, they're slowly rolling out to Walmart. Yes, and you have to kind of, well, you. I, I'm guessing once they get them, they're going to put them down. Okay. We, we saw a couple of them. I was going to say. Show. One Walmart we went in, they were trying to be sneaky, and they put them on the very top shelf, and they turned them around to where you couldn't see, but we knew. We but they knew only had, they like, were. four bottles. That's what was weird. Right. It's like, it's like they weren't prepared yeah, they had to made put the them down space. on the shelf, but they wanted them out of the back room, right. so they put them on the yeah, top. Yeah, it was, it was odd. I but we know. had already bought these, so yeah. we didn't fool with getting it off the top. But believe me, if I had needed it off the top, I yeah. would have gotten these, it. Better. These are weird, like, the other... Uh, these other kind of mayonnaise -y kind of aioli yes. sauces are. Yes. Now, the barbecue sauces are not with these. They are actually with the barbecue right. sauces. Yeah. So, so you have to go to, it's the same aisle. You just have to go from one end to the other right. if you want to go get those barbecue sauces yeah. too. But yeah, because like we thought, we when we found these first, we thought maybe they were just out of the barbecue. Then, then Tammy just happened to see them at the yes, barbecue Yes, it's section. like, oh, makes sense. They're barbecue yeah. sauces. They're going to be with the barbecue yeah. sauce. So, yeah, you got to look for those. But I'll have a picture of these for you at the end. I hope you enjoyed the video and thanks for watching.